Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. I'm going to be pulling an 18 card love spread for your person to see how they are thinking, feeling, feeling about the situation. They want to make it work, what actions they will be taking, and the most likely near future outcome, okay? So let's see what's happening here. I noticed when I said, do I want, do they want to make it work? The lovers clicked, so, you know side message. <laughs> uh, please feel free to book a reading. Some of the bookings have changed. I no longer offer um, some readings and some I do. So you can check that out on my website. Okay, let's get right into this and see what's going on. So I am only going to be pulling for your person in this reading. If you want to book a two-sided reading, just mention that when you book your reading. But now I offer half an hour love readings, half an hour general readings. Okay, so wow. At the bottom of the deck, we do have a defeat energy. So this person may really feel worn out about this situation. Um, maybe like they've been trying for so long, it may be getting a bit tiring for them. But let's see what's going on. Okay, how's this person thinking right now today um, about the situation? Well, we got some great energy here. This is honestly uh, someone thinking that they, they're in love. You have the King of Cups here. You have the Prince of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This person is thinking about coming in towards you and communicating with you, uh, getting in touch with you. Like it's so clear here with an ace of swords, uh, king of cups. And so what I also get from this is this person is emotionally mature. Um, the problem is, is when it comes to speaking, I feel like they're afraid to say things to you or afraid to tell you just how much um, they admire you and love you. Um, that's interesting. I'm just getting that message. Okay, so how is this person feeling? Now, this person totally feels like they want to put the work in. Um, this person has done some searching, gone within, hermit energy, maybe even a Virgo. There has been some time here that's been taken. And probably in this time, this person really realized what they want. And what they want with the Five of Wands is my favorite card, uh, in a sense, because the Four of Wands shows two people that can't work together. And the Five of Wands here shows them finally making an effort and trying to figure out how to make this work. Eight of Pentacles. So this person is feeling um, in a position where they want to do this again. They want to try and make this work. They've had some time to think about it. This is probably why they'll be rushing in. It's like they came to this enlightenment with that crown on top of the sword um, about what they can say, about what they want to do, about how they can make this work. So that's really interesting. Okay. This could be what they're coming out of this defeat energy. Okay. Um, so how do they feel about the situation, about this situation going on? So they definitely feel that this can come back to life. If they could choose anyone, it would be you, the seven of cups energy. That's what I say for this song. If I could choose or this card, if I could choose anyone, it would be you. Um, though things may have seemed like they were over, over, you have double over energy here with the death card and the 10 of swords. Um, when it comes to the situation, this person feels like we can make this work. We can revive this. If I could choose any single person, it would be you. Do they want to make it work? I'm pretty sure we already got that answer there. But yes, it's absolute yes. Um, Six of Pentacles is yes. This person is getting showered with money. So that's yes. Six of Cups is yes. I want to come back to my love and make this work. We're not finished yet. And the Princess of Cups is actually talking about like doing anything to try to make this work, even the impossible. Okay, so really strong message here. Let's get some more cards. What are the near future actions that will happen here? There will be a surprise visit by this person because we do have the Four of Cups and you don't see that cup coming in, but we already know with the King of Cups being the first card, it's coming, it's on its way. And I do feel you're going to jump for joy when this happens. And not only that, we do have the Prince of Cups right there. So yeah, this Prince of Cups is bringing this love in or this 
message in or this communication in and someone's going to be literally jumping for joy, okay? And the final message for you. So what the final message I'm getting from my guidance is that uh, like you can't rush a good thing and there has been maybe some waiting for this. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but I should have said the exact message I heard. It's like a love as full as this or as huge as this takes time. Um, there are complications. It's not easy is what I'm getting here. Um, so the change is taking time as well is what I get here. And this is a very strong love connection is what I get here for this message. So let's just do a little clarification just because um, I just feel like like it. So, you know, the first card. Yeah. So actually in my head, what I was asking, and then I'm like, no, I just said first card is where has this person been? This person has been like seriously in another situation, uh, but they've been thinking of you the whole time. So this person has been, look at the devil energy here, right? And the hangman. So stuck in a toxic situation um, and a lot of disappointment, building up the courage and strength to move forward towards you. Um, so when this person was gone and they were thinking about you, about their feelings and stuff like that, what was going on here? Okay, so they, they realized they had been holding back. Yeah, we get that. Wow, so I feel like this person, when they took some steps away, and I'm seeing the Emperor, Queen of Cups wanting to stick out. Um, so this person did step away, most likely to go focus on home or a situation at home. Um, and this is, you know, what they were doing, building their power, either gaining finances. Um, but I also get that when they stepped away, they got to look at things. They got to take a good look at what they were holding back and what they were not offering, which is probably their truth and their emotions, because now they're rushing in to do that. And they also got a chance to see um, or to realize just how special you are to them. So that's what was happening when this person was gone. And you're coming up as the queen of wands. Like they find you extremely attractive. Some of you may have dreads or like some sort of a really cool hairstyle tattoos um, below the belly. So <clears throat> this person wants to make it work. They've decided that you are the one. If they could choose anyone, they choose you. Um, yeah, this person. Ooh, okay, cards are just coming out. So, <laughs> wow, we got two eights there. Wow. So we have the high priestess and the magician. And what that actually tells me is I feel like you both are extremely um, good manifestors and wanted this to happen. We're manifesting this revival to this situ revival, rebirth to this situation, I guess, revival to, um, you know, so with the high priestess and the magician, maybe this person didn't tell you, but yeah, they definitely wanted another go around here. They definitely wanted to um, make this situation work. They definitely want to come back in with the eight of cups and the eight of wands. Okay. Yeah. Well, we already, I keep on answering that question. <laughs> do they want to make it work? Yes, they do. They want another go around at this um, connection. Okay. The love right there. So most likely in your future actions where I already told you this person is definitely coming in. It's going to be a surprise and you're going to be very happy. We have the higher fit and we have the eight of wands at the bottom here. Um, but this is someone who is making their plans, how they're going to do it, how they're going to connect with you. Um, let's get one more for that. Got one more, please. So yeah, this person's going to try it again. If you've had, if for some reason you weren't talking because things weren't going well, this person is just preparing to come in and either communicate to you what is going on with this other situation um, and probably possibly to tell you that there has been an ending to that other situation. And that is no joke. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here talks about failure, right? So um, with the judgment card and the hierophant, this person may be coming in to say, hey, like, I'm single now. Because look at he's sitting there alone with one little cow. Where's the other cow? There is another cow. So the final message about the good things taking time sometimes, uh, the nine of wands just came out. Hang in there is what I'm hearing. Um, but let me just get a Things take time. Good things take time. There's my twin flame card trying to come out, but it didn't quite come out. It's a wish. You know, wishes don't often just come overnight. Um, 
this is a very special connection. It's most likely a twin flame energy I'm picking up here, but I definitely feel, you know, just hang on is what I'm getting. Um, and I think some of you are hanging on. And But the thing is, the funny thing I'm picking up is that some of you, you're getting multiple offers and you're just like, no, thanks. No, no, no. Stay away. Um, the, the three of cups. So that's your reading. That's what's going on. Let's get a couple more messages from this deck. This is really interesting. I'm happy I pulled this. You can always count on my 18 card spread to give us some insight. Oh gosh. <laughs> so the card that came out is wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Um, I mean, that could be for anything. That could just be a message someone needs to hear. Uh, power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away. Um, so some of you, you know, it's just telling you. And it also talks about criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So that's a great message. And let's get some of the... Um, of these ones, the island in time. So hammer, this is about rebuilding, working on it with the abundance, keep a positive mindset, mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So that's about staying positive during all of this and knowing what you want, wants you dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal. Okay, so those are your messages. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye for now.